Hey, what's up guys? It's James here from Knives and Gear, here with another review for you. This one is one of my favorites, the Spyderco Dragonfly. So in front of you, you've got three different versions, all in the VG10 steel, very, very similar specs. This is the black FRN, this is the orange FRN, so pretty much identical except for the color. I've got the lanyard on this one. I just did the lanyard video not too long ago, so hopefully you'll check that out. Uh, and then this one is in the green v, um, G10 handle scales. So just wanted to talk quickly about them. It's a very small, compact knife. Get the measuring tape in there. So the blade length, around two, inch, two inches of cutting surface. Looks like about two and three eighths blade overall. And then overall length of the whole piece, a little over five and a half inches. So it's a very small, compact little little guy perfect for EDC nice wire pocket clip so it just disappears in your pocket you don't have this big bright shiny pocket clip as you get with a lot of other spider codes like this bad boy depends if that matters to you if you want to show it off or not but sometimes I like things to just disappear in my pocket like this guy um, very lightweight at least the in terms of the FRN, the G10, not so much, pretty heavy. Same wire pocket clip on the G10. So in my opinion, I love these two guys. Absolutely love them. I think they're one of the best EDC pocket knives in the world. Definitely in my top, in my top five list, Spyderco Dragonfly 2. However, when it comes to this guy right here, the G10 version, when I first bought it, I picked it up and I said, oh yeah, it's the exact same as the knife that I love, only better because it's G10. But after a little while of carrying it and, and having it around and doing sort of the side-by-side -side comparison, you see that stainless steel along the back there? I mean, don't get me wrong, guys, the fit and finish on this thing is fantastic. It's a beautiful piece, um, but I just find it's too heavy, first of all, and this is starting to get cold now. We're in November here, so it's starting to get cold. This feels cold in the hand and very slippery, not grippy at all, very slippery. If you compare it to one of these guys, that has the full grip along the FRN there. And yes, it's smooth, but it's not as smooth. And the plastic is just a lot more lightweight. Now, the second piece, you can see this sort of handle sculpting that's gone on in the FRN there. Makes it a little bit more comfortable. Where on the, let me put this down before I stab myself. So you can see that sculpting there makes it a little bit more comfortable to grip. There's not a lot of edge there where when it comes to the, the G10 version, there is no, no real sculpting. There's a little bit, but I think my biggest issue is the lip that's here. It's a bit of a lip on the inside of this, the steel frame and you just, you feel that every time you run your fingers across here when you're gripping the knife and it's just, it's not fantastic. I gotta be honest. I'm sorry, Spyderco. I'm a big fan, huge fan in fact, but this one just didn't do it for me. I think if they, if they revised it, I don't know if this knife is too small, but if they had this as an, an open frame, going back to my PM here, PM2, if they had an open frame like this, I think I would like this a lot more. And maybe a little bit less of the steel on the inside. If you look at the PM, like that, that grip of just pure G10 feels great in the hand. But this grip with the steel in there, I've had a couple of other spider codes that were like that. Um, the native, when it with this with the steel, um, the steel inserts like that. 
and also the Cali 3.5. I had both of those. I ended up selling them off because I just I couldn't handle this. I bought them all when I was a little bit. I had different tastes, I guess. The look was good, but when you go to actually using them, the comfort is just not there. So for me to spend an extra, I don't know, 30 bucks at least on this over one of these, it's just not worth it. I'd rather have two of these. Super comfortable, so light. I don't know the weight differences, but it's pretty significant. Anyway, I think that's it for me today, guys. All in all, I really just wanted to get the point across. I love the Dragonfly. I have a definite preference for the, the FRN over the G10. But if I was going to go out and buy a, an EDC, a small EDC folder, this would definitely be in my top five. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is James from Knives and Gear. Please like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the Dragonfly, and uh, especially the G10 version if you like it. And that's it. Take care.